But a new report just released by J.D. Power says they're finding a significant number of complaints when it comes to new cars. Some pickup trucks are nightmares waiting to happen. These disasters on wheels won't just drain your wallet. They might not even last you 50,000 miles. And you might be driving one. From sky-high repair bills to engines that fail without warning, these pickups are ticking time bombs. Before you sink your hard-earned cash into a truck that'll leave you stranded on the side of the road, watch this. Which trucks are on this shocking list? What flaws make them so unreliable? And how can you avoid falling into the trap of buying a pickup that barely makes it past its warranty? Nissan Titan XD the Nissan Titan XD entered the market with big promises, a diesel-powered pickup that would bridge the gap between half-ton and heavy-duty trucks. It sounded like a dream come true for buyers who wanted power and versatility in one package. Unfortunately, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare for many owners. At the heart of the Titan XD's troubles is its engine, a Cummins-sourced 5-liter diesel that has proven to be more trouble than it's worth. One of the biggest culprits is the exhaust gas recirculation system, which clogs up up with carbon deposits faster than a highway during rush hour. This problem alone has left countless drivers stranded, frustrated, and out of pocket. The turbocharger isn't much better. Owners report frequent failures that can cost a fortune to repair, often running into thousands of dollars. And let's not forget the fuel system. It's as if Nissan couldn't decide whether the truck should run on diesel or magic. Frequent malfunctions make it one of the most unreliable systems on the market. But the issues don't stop under the hood. The Titan XD's build quality has also come under fire, with reports of rattling interiors, peeling paint, and rust appearing far too soon. Add to this a series of recalls for serious problems like airbag failures and steering issues, and you've got a recipe for disaster. What about resale value? Forget it. Thanks to its poor reputation, the Titan XD depreciates faster than a loaf of bread left out in the sun. Owners looking to trade in their truck often find themselves facing rock bottom offers. The result? A vehicle that's as much a financial liability as it is a mechanical one. Chevrolet Colorado. At first glance, the Chevrolet Colorado seems like a solid choice. It's compact, versatile, and has the Chevrolet badge that many associate with reliability. But scratch beneath the surface, and a slew of problems start to emerge. Transmission issues are among the most common complaints from Colorado owners, especially in models from 2019 onward. Drivers report delays in shifting, slipping gears, and even complete transmission failures. It's the kind of problem that makes every drive feel like a gamble. Engine troubles are another persistent issue. Misfires, poor performance, and even outright breakdowns plague this mid-sized truck. And then there's the matter of power steering failures, a terrifying experience that has left some owners feeling like they're wrestling a wild animal on the road. The recalls for the Colorado have been numerous, but one stands out, a software glitch that caused false obstacle detection and unintended braking. Imagine cruising down the highway only to have your truck slam on the brakes for no reason. It's not just inconvenient, it's downright dangerous. Even those lucky enough to avoid the major mechanical issues are left grappling with other frustrations. The interior is a sea of cheap plastic that feels more like a budget toy than a durable vehicle. Rust is another recurring problem, with owners reporting spots appearing far earlier than expected. And then there's the cost of ownership, with annual repair bills averaging $650 and a 15% chance of needing major repairs. The Colorado isn't just a headache, it's a wallet drainer. For a truck that's supposed to be reliable and affordable, it's anything but. Ford F-150 the Ford F-150 is nothing short of legendary, a name that has dominated the pickup market for decades. For years, it was the truck that defined reliability, power, and utility, a symbol of American engineering. But not all versions of the F-150 have lived up to this sterling reputation. In fact, the inclusion of the 5.4-liter Triton V8 engine in earlier models turned this icon into a cautionary tale. At the heart of the issue lies one of the most fundamental components, oil. This engine has a notorious tendency for oil sludging, a condition where poor maintenance or the use of low quality lubricants leads to a thick, tar-like buildup in the engine. Once this sludge clogs vital oil passages, disaster isn't far behind. Camshaft phasers, the unsung heroes responsible for engine timing, are often the first casualties, leading to expensive and time-consuming repairs. And then there are the spark plugs. These aren't your average plugs, 
Dogs, they're a two-piece design that seemed innovative on paper, but turned into a nightmare in practice. They often seize up or break during removal, leaving owners with costly extraction procedures. Worse yet, they're prone to outright failure, sometimes blowing out of the cylinder heads entirely. When that happens, you're looking at a repair bill that can easily rival the cost of a down payment on a new truck. But the woes don't stop there. The Triton V8 is infamous for head gasket leaks, leaving owners to deal with coolant loss and overheating. Pair this with frequent transmission failures, and the mighty F-150 starts to look like a money pit. Online forums are filled with frustrated owners lamenting their constant trips to the mechanic and the staggering costs of keeping their trucks on the road. Even the resale value of these troubled models takes a significant hit. Buyers are wary of inheriting someone else's problems, making it nearly impossible for owners to recoup their investment. For those in the market for an F-150, the lesson is clear. Steer clear of the 5.4 liter Triton V8 and opt for a more dependable engine option. Mercedes-Benz X-Class When Mercedes-Benz announced its foray into the pickup truck market, expectations were sky high. This was the brand known for luxury, innovation, and precision engineering. Surely the X-Class would redefine what a mid-size pickup could be. Unfortunately, the reality has been a far cry from the promise. One of the most glaring issues is the trailer stability function, a system designed to keep trailers from swaying dangerously on the road. For X-Class owners, this feature has been more of a liability than a lifesaver. Software glitches, sensor malfunctions, and electrical failures plague the system, often leaving drivers in precarious situations. Imagine towing a heavy load down the highway, only to have the stability system fail and your trailer start fishtailing. It's a nightmare scenario that has left many questioning the reliability of this so-called luxury truck. The safety lock mechanisms have also come under fire, particularly the child locks on the rear doors. Reports of these locks failing or becoming loose have raised serious safety concerns. No parent wants to worry about whether their kids are securely protected in the back seat, but that's exactly the kind of anxiety the X-Class has brought to its owners. Beyond these safety failures, the X-Class suffers from a litany of other mechanical problems. Power steering failures are alarmingly common, making the truck difficult and even dangerous to handle. Engine performance issues, including stalling and sudden loss of power, further erode confidence in this vehicle. Suspension components wear out prematurely, leaving drivers with a bumpy and uncomfortable ride that's far from what one would expect from a Mercedes-Benz. Owner feedback paints a bleak picture. Forums and review sites are flooded with complaints about the X-Class, from its poor build quality to its exorbitant maintenance costs. For a truck that was supposed to marry luxury with utility, the X-Class has become a symbol of unmet expectations and unfulfilled promises. If you're looking for a mid-sized pickup that combines style, performance, and reliability, the X-Class is unlikely to deliver. GMC Canyon GMC has long marketed itself as a premium brand for professional grade trucks, and the Canyon is no exception. Billed as a rugged yet refined mid-size pickup, the Canyon has won its share of fans. But dig a little deeper, and the cracks in its armor become apparent, especially in models from 2018 to 2022. Transmission troubles top the list of complaints from Canyon owners. Torquey converter failures, delayed engagement, and outright transmission collapse are common issues that make driving this truck a nerve-wracking experience. Imagine trying to merge onto a busy highway only to find your truck struggling to accelerate. It's not just frustrating, it's downright dangerous. Engine reliability has also been a sore point for Canyon owners. In some cases, engines have experienced catastrophic failures, including what some describe as explosions. Over Heating, manufacturing defects, and sludge buildup are often to blame, leading to repairs that can cost thousands of dollars, or worse, a complete engine replacement. The Canyon's brake system has also drawn criticism. Premature wear on brake pads and rotors, coupled with hydraulic failures and glitches in the electronic stability control system, makes stopping this truck a gamble. For a vehicle that's supposed to handle tough jobs and demanding conditions, these reliability issues are a significant letdown. What's most troubling is the impact on owner confidence. Many Canyon drivers report feeling uneasy about the long-term dependability of their trucks, and who can blame them? The cost of frequent repairs and the lack of adequate manufacturer support only add to the frustration. If you're considering a GMC Canyon, think twice. It might not be the dependable workhorse you're hoping for.
Lordstown Endurance. Electric vehicles are the future, and the Lordstown Endurance was supposed to be at the forefront of this revolution in the pickup truck segment. As the debut product from Lordstown Motors, the Endurance promised innovation, sustainability, and a new standard for electric trucks. But instead of blazing a trail, it has stumbled at nearly every turn. Production delays have been one of the most significant issues plaguing the Endurance. Buyers eager to get their hands on this electric marvel have been left waiting and waiting. Each delay erodes consumer trust and raises questions about Lordstown Motors' ability to deliver on its promises. Then there's the technology itself. As a newcomer to the automotive industry, Lordstown Motors lacks the track record of established manufacturers. The untested nature of the Endurance's components has many potential buyers worried about reliability. Early adopters often find themselves acting as beta testers, and the Endurance is no exception. Problems with battery performance, motor reliability, and software glitches have already begun to surface. Financial instability only adds to the uncertainty. Lordstown Motors has faced significant challenges, from cash flow problems to legal disputes, casting doubt on the company's long-term viability. For buyers, this raises a crucial question. What happens if you need support or service, and the company is no longer around to provide it? In the competitive world of electric trucks, where established players like Tesla and Rivian are setting the pace, the endurance is struggling to keep up. While it may hold potential for the future, its current state leaves much to be desired. For now, it's best to let others take the risk and invest in a more proven electric truck. Hyundai Santa Cruz The Hyundai Santa Cruz burst onto the scene with an intriguing promise. To combine the best of both worlds, a truck's utility and an SUV's comfort, its sporty design and compact footprint garnered plenty of attention from those seeking something different in the pickup segment. But beneath the stylish exterior lies a series of issues that have left many owners questioning their choice. One of the Santa Cruz's most significant weaknesses is its transmission. Owners have reported everything from delayed engagement when shifting to full-blown failures while driving. Imagine merging onto a busy highway, pressing the accelerator, and feeling the vehicle hesitate, leaving you in a moment of panic as traffic bears down on you. It's the kind of flaw that transforms an otherwise enjoyable drive into a high-stakes gamble. And then there's the engine. Reports of overheating due to failures in the temperature control system have emerged, with some instances severe enough to cause engine damage requiring costly repairs or even full replacements. The financial and emotional toll of dealing with an unreliable engine can't be overstated, especially when it undermines confidence in the vehicle's overall performance. The braking system is no less problematic, from premature wear on brake pads and rotors to malfunctions in the anti-lock braking system, the Santa Cruz's stopping power leaves much to be desired. For a vehicle marketed as versatile and capable, these issues raise serious concerns about its safety and reliability. Electrical system glitches also plague the Santa Cruz, with infotainment screens freezing or failing, headlights randomly cutting out, and warning lights illuminating without clear cause. These issues, while seemingly minor on their own, accumulate to create an ownership experience filled with frustration and inconvenience. Finally, the Santa Cruz's build quality has come under scrutiny. Loose trim, inconsistent paint application, and uncomfortable seating have left some owners feeling shortchanged, particularly given Hyundai's reputation for offering high value in its vehicles. While the Santa Cruz's concept is innovative, its execution leaves plenty of room for improvement. Toyota Tacoma the Toyota Tacoma has long been regarded as one of the most reliable mid-sized trucks on the market, a dependable workhorse that could tackle any terrain and last for decades. But with the release of the 2023 model, cracks in its once impeccable armor have begun to show, leaving some longtime fans feeling betrayed. Transmission troubles top the list of complaints about the 2023 Tacoma. Owners describe clunky shifts, delayed responses, and even complete failures shortly after purchase. For a vehicle with a reputation built on dependability, these issues are nothing short of shocking. The engine too has become a source of frustration. Reports of tapping noises, poor throttle response, and even unexpected power loss are becoming more common. Warning lights frequently illuminate dashboards, signaling problems that often require expensive diagnostics and repairs. For a truck that has been synonymous with reliability, these issues feel like a betrayal. Then there's the interior. While the Tacoma's rugged exterior remains as appealing as ever, stepping inside reveals a different story. Cabin noise is intrusive, seatbelt components rattle, and the overall quality feels rushed. Given the price tag, which can soar well above $40,000, many owners are left questioning whether their money was well spent. 
the Tacoma's technology also lags behind its competitors. The infotainment system, while functional, feels outdated and slow compared to the slick interfaces offered by rivals. Advanced safety features are sparse, leaving the Tacoma feeling like it's playing catch-up in a segment where innovation is increasingly important. Perhaps most concerning of all is the rising tide of reliability complaints. For a truck that has been a symbol of durability, these issues mark a significant departure from the norm. Toyota's ability to maintain its reputation for bulletproof reliability now hangs in the balance, and buyers are taking notice. Ford Ranger The Ford Ranger has long held a respected position in the midsize pickup market, celebrated for its balance of power, utility, and affordability. However, recent models have begun to falter, with an array of reliability issues that have shaken confidence in its reputation as a dependable workhorse. At the heart of these problems lies the Ranger's transmission, a critical component that has become a recurring source of frustration for owners. Reports of difficulty shifting gears, unsettling clunking sounds, and even fluid leaks suggest deeper systemic flaws. These aren't just minor nuisances, they're red flags indicating potential long-term durability concerns, especially for a vehicle marketed as rugged and capable. Engine reliability, another cornerstone of a truck's utility, has similarly been compromised. Instances of oil pump failures and turbocharger malfunctions have left drivers stranded, facing not just inconvenience but also costly repairs. For a vehicle designed to endure tough conditions and heavy workloads, these issues undermine its core promise. The Ranger's build quality also leaves much to be desired. Owners frequently cite cheap, easily worn interior materials that fail to withstand the test of time. Rattling noises and loose components further detract from the driving experience, giving the cabin an unfinished feel. Even exterior durability has been questioned, with subpar paint quality that chips and fades prematurely, making upkeep a hassle for owners who expect better from their investment. These mechanical and structural shortcomings are compounded by consistently poor performance performance in consumer reliability surveys. The Ranger has been plagued by a growing number of recalls, signaling that its problems extend beyond isolated incidents. For prospective buyers, this tarnished track record casts serious doubts on its ability to provide peace of mind or long-term value. In an increasingly competitive market where buyers expect both performance and reliability, the Ranger's recent struggles serve as a stark reminder that even established models must evolve to meet modern standards. Without significant improvements, the once-trusted Ranger risks falling behind its rivals, leaving loyal fans and new customers alike searching for better alternatives. The changing landscape of pickup trucks. The stories of underperforming pickup trucks, from the ambitious but flawed Hyundai Santa Cruz to the faltering Toyota Tacoma, raise a pressing question. What's happening to the truck market? Once considered the pinnacle of durability and reliability, many models now fall short of meeting consumer expectations. But why? To answer this, we need to take a closer look at the broader trends reshaping the industry. One of the most significant factors is the shift toward more advanced technology. Features like adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and high resolution infotainment systems have become standard expectations. While these advancements bring new levels of convenience and safety, they also introduce a level of complexity that manufacturers sometimes struggle to perfect. For example, glitches in systems like Hyundai's infotainment interface or Chevrolet's braking software highlight how technology, when not thoroughly tested, can create more problems than it solves. At the same time, the push for fuel efficiency and reduced emissions has fundamentally altered how trucks are built. Turbocharged engines, lightweight materials, and hybrid powertrains have replaced the traditional, naturally aspirated V8s that once dominated the market. While these innovations aim to reduce environmental impact and appeal to eco-conscious buyers, they often compromise reliability. Turbochargers in particular are prone to overheating and wear, as seen in the Ford Ranger and Nissan Titan XD. For consumers who rely on their trucks for demanding tasks, this trade-off between efficiency and durability can feel like a raw deal. Cost cutting at what cost? Another factor contributing to the decline in reliability is cost cutting. In an effort to stay competitive and maximize profits, many automakers have turned to less expensive manufacturing processes and materials. The results are often glaringly apparent in the finished product. 
Take the Chevrolet Colorado, for example. Its interior, dominated by hard plastics, feels cheap and uninspired compared to rivals in the same price range. Similarly, rust issues in both the Colorado and Nissan Titan XD point to subpar paint quality and inadequate corrosion resistance. These seemingly small compromises can have a significant impact on a truck's long-term durability and customer satisfaction. Even premium brands like Mercedes-Benz aren't immune. The X-Class, marketed as a luxury pickup, failed to deliver the quality expected from a vehicle bearing the three-pointed star. From faulty safety locks to power steering failures, the X-Class exemplifies how cutting corners can erode a brand's reputation and alienate its customer base. Cost-cutting also extends to after-sales support. Many automakers have scaled back their service networks, making it more difficult for owners to find qualified mechanics for repairs. This is particularly problematic for models like the Nissan Titan XD, where specialized diesel expertise is often required. Without adequate support, even minor issues can escalate into major headaches. The Role of Electric Vehicles the emergence of electric trucks is another game changer for the industry. Models like the Lordstown Endurance represent a bold step towards sustainability and innovation, but they also come with their own set of challenges. For one, the technology is still relatively new, which means teething problems are almost inevitable. Battery reliability, software integration, and manufacturing scalability are all hurdles that companies like Lordstown Motors must overcome. Financial stability is another concern. Startups in the electric vehicle space often operate on razor-thin margins, making them vulnerable to market fluctuations and investor confidence. If a company like Lordstown Motors struggles to stay afloat, owners of its vehicles could find themselves without access to spare parts or technical support, a nightmare scenario for any buyer. Established automakers entering the electric truck market face their own challenges. The need to balance traditional internal combustion engine production with electric vehicle development has strained resources and led to quality control issues. As a result, some hybrid models, like Ford's PowerBoost equipped F-150, have experienced reliability problems that tarnish the brand's otherwise solid reputation. The consumer's perspective. For buyers, navigating the current truck market feels like walking a minefield. The abundance of options, each promising to be the perfect blend of power, efficiency, and technology can make it difficult to separate fact from marketing hype. Compounding this challenge is the growing complexity of modern vehicles, which makes it harder for consumers to assess long-term reliability. Price is another critical factor. Trucks have become increasingly expensive, with some fully loaded models exceeding $70,000. At these prices, buyers expect top-tier quality and performance. When a vehicle fails to deliver, the financial and emotional toll can be significant. This is particularly true for models like the Toyota Tacoma, where the brand's reputation for reliability has long justified its premium price tag. As complaints about the Tacoma's newer models mount, Toyota risks losing the trust of its most loyal customers. Consumers also face a lack of transparency when it comes to recalls and reliability data. While resources like consumer reviews and individual independent rankings can help, they often lag behind the release of new models. This delay leaves early adopters vulnerable to unforeseen issues, as seen with the Hyundai Santa Cruz's transmission failures and the Lordstown Endurance's production delays. The Industry's Response Automakers are not blind to these issues. Many have taken steps to address the reliability concerns plaguing their trucks. For example, Ford has introduced stricter quality control measures for its F-Series lineup, while Chevrolet has rolled out software updates to fix glitches in the Colorado. These efforts show a willingness to adapt, but they also highlight the reactive nature of the industry, fixing problems after they arise rather than preventing them in the first place. Some manufacturers are also doubling down on customer service, extended warranties, free maintenance plans and expanded service networks are becoming more common as brands compete to retain their customer base. However, these perks often come at a cost, either through higher vehicle prices or increased pressure on dealerships to absorb the financial burden. The shift toward modular design and prefabricated components, as seen with electric models like the Lordstown Endurance, could also pave the way for more reliable trucks in the future. By streamlining the production process and reducing the number of components prone to failure, automakers may be able to deliver vehicles that are both advanced and dependable. However, this approach is still in its infancy and will require significant investment and refinement. Trucks are meant to be reliable workhorses, but as we've seen, not all models live up to the promise. Whether it's costly transmission issues, engine failures, or poor build quality, these pickups could leave you stranded and broke long before you hit 50,000 miles. The last thing you want is to invest in a truck that turns into a money pit. 
So which truck should you avoid and how can you make an informed decision? Let us know your thoughts in the comment below.